Hey, it's great to be with you again today. Um, do you have like a special talent that you have, a gift that maybe God has given you that you're using or maybe not using for God? Um, you know, and, and that talent, that ability, that gift could be all kinds of things, right? I mean, we in our jobs, we could be using our jobs and using it to further God's kingdom as a carpenter, a mason, a mechanic, a lawyer, a teacher, whatever, right? Uh, maybe it's the gift of art. Maybe you are an awesome artist and you can bring to life uh, nature or uh, pictures of people or animals or flowers and right? All this I had a friend in school that was awesome artist. I just thought he was incredible. Um, what about music? Maybe you have the gift of voice. You can sing, or maybe you can play the piano or the guitar. And, and, and awesome, right? Bringing God glory through the gifts that we are given. And uh, there's a parable. Jesus always taught in parables, right? And there's a parable, and, and uh, this wealthy landowner is going away. And uh, as he goes away, he says, all right, he calls in three servants. He says, okay, guys, I'm going away for a while, and I'm going to give you some, some money, and I want you to take care of it and see what you can do with it, see what you can do with it. And they're called talents. The money was called talents. And he gives the first guy five talents. He gives the second guy two talents. He gives the third guy one talent. And he goes away for a while. And when he comes back, he calls his servants back, and he says, hey, man, what'd you do with the talents that I gave you? And the first guy says, hey, the five talents you gave me, I went out, I invested it, I worked it, and I made five more talents. And the master is like, wow, that's awesome. Great job. Way to be. And here, you get to keep those 10 talents and keep working it. And he calls the second guy and he says, hey, what'd you do with those two talents? He says, well, master, I took those two talents and I worked it and invested it and did some stuff and I, I made two more talents. And the master's like, wow, man, that is incredible. Great job. Way to be. Way to work that. You get to keep them. Keep working it. Keep doing what you do. He calls the third guy and he says, hey, what'd you do with that one talent? And the guy goes, oh, well, you know, master, I know you're a hard man and you expect a lot. And uh, so I was kind of nervous and I didn't want to do anything. So I just took it and I buried it in the ground. And the master's like, what? Dude, I gave you a talent to use to, to do something with, not to hide it in the ground and bury it. And so he calls the guards. He's like, hey, man, take that talent from that guy. Toss him out in the street. Get rid of him. Give it to the guy with 10 talents. And the parable says this. Listen, we are given gifts. We are given these abilities and these gifts from God to take and use and bless others around us and to bless God's name and glorify him. And when we don't do that, when we take it and squander it, we just hide it away and we don't use our voice or our musical talents or our artistic talents or teaching talents or whatever, whatever gifts we've been given and we just squander them and don't use them. God goes, man, like, what are you doing, man? Why aren't you out there? Why aren't you using what I've given you to bless others and to bless me? And then I'll bless you in return. You see, we've got to think about these things because God expects us as his followers to go out there and give the good news to people. Give the good news through the talents that he has given each and every one of us so that we can bless those in our community and our world. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.